election-denying former Republican gubernatorial candidate and complete loser, Gary Lake, might also be adding criminal to the list of things that he can uh, be called. Uh, on Monday, Gary Lake was referred to the Arizona Attorney General for investigation. Interesting. So let's get into the details. Uh, according to the referral, which came from Secretary of State Adrian Fontes, Lake violated Arizona state law by, get this, tweeting out copies of voter signatures in her tweets. To which I say, stupid. Well done. I want to show you uh, some uh, the tweet that got her in trouble, by the way, <laughs> just because uh, it's fascinating. And I'd already talked about this before. Bombshell discovery. Today's Senate testimony confirms nearly 40,000 ball ballots illegally counted. 10% of signatures reviewed. I think all the election deniers out there deserve an apology. Oops. No, it, it appears the people whose signature, uh, signatures you had shared publicly deserve an apology. Because, you know, once again, dumbass. Stupid. <laughs> you idiot. Well done, Carrie. Well done. Uh, now, the office cited in its referral, quote, Nothing in this section shall preclude public inspection of voter registration records at the office of the county recorder for the purpose prescribed by the section, except that the records containing a voter signature shall not be accessible or reproduced by any person other than the voter. Carrie Lake, of course, was like, oh, these signatures? From, by the way, they were from 2020. I already dissected this tweet uh, and how she was really stupid for posting it in the first place because it didn't prove anything. Uh, but, you know, to once again, just forget about the evidence. Let's forget about it completely. Uh, evidence? I, I don't need evidence. Here, here it's it, signatures. Okay. Uh, but look, this is a uh, classic felony in Arizona, meaning a, a conviction could only result in fines, probation, or prison sentence between four months and five, uh, and three, uh, I'm sorry, five and 0.75 years. <laughs> so, I, I know. Um, but look, very, very unlikely that Kerry Lake is ever actually going to face any jail time. Um, as the prosecutor can charge it as a class one misdemeanor, which carries anywhere from no penalty to... Six months in jail. And when ordering less than six months in jail, the judge can order up to three years of probation, fines, fees, and surcharges are commonly uh, ordered. And honestly, I think that's the worst that could happen. I, once again, Carrie Lake is an absolute clown. Yes, she broke the law by sharing these signatures. Yes, she's been engaging in massive election denial. Look, in fact, the, the election denial stuff that, that she is, uh, I mean, she's using signature verification, which already is ridiculous as people's signatures change literally all the time. Nobody, nobody writes the same way 100%. And in her quest to become, uh, I, I guess, to, to overthrow the governorship of Arizona to basically take over the state, um, Oops, crime. Don't you hate when that happens? Crime. But uh, like I said, it's hilarious that uh, Carrie Lake continues to step on rakes. The, it, it's like she's sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. She keeps stepping on him over and over again, getting herself in trouble. But, you know, I guess, look, that's what happens when, uh, well, when you're so dumb that you can't accept a loss that you still think your governor, the rightful governor, by the way, that's what she says, um, even though she lost decisively. 